Good evening, I'm Clowney from PGDM2. Uh, today we have with us one of the top 10 eminent researchers of our country, Professor Purva Rao. She's a fellow from the IM Institute of uh, Calcutta and she has been a visiting faculty at IM Ranchi and IM uh, Ahmedabad and also a Great Lakes Institute Chennai. Uh, hello, Professor Rao. Hello, lovely. Uh, would you want to tell us about your experience in Mysore? Well, we came to Mysore about 10 days back and uh, we wanted to explore Mysore very much but because there were so many classes going on and we had so many assignment, assignments to correct uh, we haven't really had the time to go and explore Mysore it's just today morning that we were, we were able to go to Chamundeshwari temple and we saw the temple and uh, various other nice scenic beauty spots in and around the temple so it was a great experience. That's wonderful, Professor. Uh, what about your experience at Maya, Professor? Yeah. Well, in Maya, when I came, uh, I didn't know what kind of a school really Maya would be. But when we entered the class, when I entered the class and when I started teaching, the response of the students was very nice and I was very pleasantly surprised. The students were very attentive, very participative always. And the Actually, after so many years, we kind of understand when the students are following or not following. So looking at them, looking at my students, I realized that they were following what I was saying and they were ready to relate to the application areas in management also. So for me, it was very gratifying. And they also came to me after the class and talked to me regarding various topics I was discussing. They asked about the projects. So it was a very nice surprise for me and I'm very happy with the students here. Professor, you've taken classes in Philippines. So, uh, how different is uh, the classroom, the students here, and how are they different there? Like, what are some significant observations you made? Well, in the Philippines, I would say uh, the students, well, it was, it was a much bigger class in the Philippines. There, we follow a case method of teaching. So, students are required to participate in the class, and we teach, we do not really lecture. Uh, we learn through the case method in the sense that we learn from discussing with each other, with the professor and with the students. So to that extent, it was a different learning environment. But I would say that uh, in the Philippines, the IQ level of the students were very high and their communication skills were very high also. But here, the minor students, I think, were, if I can say that, even better than Philippines. Yeah, their IQ level is extremely high. and. Uh, their communications are also very high. That was very nice for me to observe. Well, I had seen in various other schools, the communication aspect for the MBA students is not that emphasized. But I think for some reason, the Maya students seem to have a very good communication capability. Uh, professor, we follow an immersion model at Myra. So, uh, how difficult was it uh, to put the whole syllabus into, uh, you know, condense it and yet not lose all the cardinal uh, information about analytics? Yeah. Actually, this immersion model, for me, it was like a challenge because I would have preferred the course to be more spaced out so that I can teach the, well, I don't teach one topic one day. I can teach one topic over spread over two days or more. So it was a little bit of ch challenging for me in the beginning, but I got used to it. And then I also realized that there is an advantage in the immersion model. In the sense, the students are not thinking of anything else. <laughs> they are only thinking of the topics I am discussing with them. So, well, uh, no distractions. So to that extent, the immersion model has its advantage. Professor, how do you see analytics evolving today in the industry as a whole? Well, analytics has become such an important field now. Even two, three years back, it wasn't this important, but now it's so important. So many companies are trying to apply analytics for their, for honing their decision-making uh, strategies. So it is a great upcoming field, and we want our students to be totally competent and capable in the field of analytics. So we have given them a lot of... Uh, well, modeling approaches and techniques and computer software so that they are able to do very well in the field of analytics. But there is still a lot more to do. In the sense, I would uh, like the students to pursue thinking of analytics even after they graduate. Whenever they get a chance, they can apply analytical modeling to the business decision making. 
so that they get uh, so that they are able to help the companies even better. Uh, Professor, you've authored a book called Business Analytics and Application Focus. Yes. Uh, could you just elaborate on that? Like, how important it is for an analytics student if he goes, if he or she goes through that book? Uh, what kind of uh, inputs would one get? Like, is it classroom teaching what you've incorporated there, or is it like? Uh, yeah. Well, the book really started from my class notes. Well, I was once sitting in the Philippines in my office, and then the the publishers, they came and said, uh, asked me to write a book, and I said, I didn't have, I didn't have time. So they said, how about the cl your class notes, ma'am? So actually, that is how it started. So it started with the theory behind all the modeling approaches. Then I found various application areas, which I was talking to the students in the classroom, but I wrote them down and put them down in the book. And that is how the book is now. It has gone uh, well, a revision also. And what I have done, apart from the theoretical aspects, I have tried to put a lot of applications because I have seen the best way to teach MBA students is through applications. So, show them a little bit of theory, then applications. So, the book is also formatted in that way. A lot of applications. And many of the applications have been carried out by the students themselves. So, they can relate to it very well. Uh, professor, since our batch, uh, the 2015 batch is going to be graduating very soon, so, uh, for the students who are keen on pursuing analytics as their industry to me, what are the few skills would they have to hone before getting into the analytic industry? Well, actually, to be very uh, successful in the field of analytics or very efficient and competent in the field of analytics, a certain familiarity with numbers helps. But this familiarity can develop later on during the MBA course also. So, to hone their skills and hone the competencies, on the part of the students to so that they are able to contribute more in the field of analytics. I would say after the classroom classrooms are done, after their classroom exercise is finished, then they can go to the internet and actually what I would tell them that for each topic, uh, let's say for logistic regression, they can at least download uh, five white papers or five PDF files and read them up thoroughly. I mean not small papers but extensive papers. And also, look at the YouTube because there are several videos on topics like logistic regression, structural equation modeling, and let's say conjoint analysis. They can download all of them and look at them and look at the various applications. And of course, having done that, I would say, I would say that they can join a company. It doesn't have to be a big company. It can be a small to medium company, but the company who is actually applying analytics in the industry. So, for one or two years, Students can uh, really stay with the company, learn what they are doing, and that would give them a wonderful exposure as to how analytics can help Indian industries today. So after one or two years, when they are more capable, then they can join in a bigger capacity in a larger company. But for the, for the moment, just after graduating, even a small company, a startup, would really help them in the field of analytics. So that is what I tell them, and of course my best wishes to them. And I know they will do very well. Thank you so much, Professor. It was a delight to have you in class. Thank you. You changed the whole dimension of taking analytics for us. So thank you very thank much, you. Professor.